Hello, my name is Onion Creature, and I have a video for you today about the dream friends that I want to be in the Kirby Star Allies game. So this game got recently started getting free DLC where you uh, get new playable characters. So first of all, for the first uh, pack, they included Rick Tiny Koo as all one character, Marks, and then Gooey. And uh, they also added uh, new level elements in the guest star mode if you play as those characters. And so I thought, oh wow, since there's probably going to be more characters, I think it'll be kind of fun to, to, to look at some stuff that might be might be likely, make some predictions, make some make some speculations. It's sort of like Smash Brothers, but with, with Kirby, so that's real nice. So I have uh, three different categories, which are uh, likely-ish, maybe, I think, in my opinion, and then we have less likely. Uh, or, you know, stuff where it could happen, but, uh, you know, less likely, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. And then we have long shots, which is stuff that probably will not happen, but it will be fun to talk about. We'll, we'll see what happens, you know, you know anything's possible, it's this, the ceiling's the limit. Is that, that's not how it goes. Uh, so a good place to start with this video would be the likely characters, I think, so. First of all, we have uh, Magalore. Magalore, obviously introduced in Kirby's Return to Dreamland. He's uh, he's played a pretty pretty pivotal role in, in a lot of Kirby games, um, and seems to be one of the more popular characters. And um, one thing you have to consider with the Dream Friends is when they add them, they also add the guest star level segments. And in the previous uh, Dream Friends we've gotten, we've seen that they've recreated levels from from those respective games. So that makes it pretty likely that um, we'll see a representative from um, a different game. So not Superstar Dreamland 3 or uh, Dreamland 2. It seems pretty likely. And since Maglor is from Kirby's Return to Dreamland, that means they can include some Kirby's Return to Dreamland level elements. And uh, that that would just fit in right well, right go go right well with that. And he's also you know the same caliber as Marks. He's a, he's a final boss. I don't know if you guys knew that guy. So man, spoilers for a game that was released in. October 24th, 2011. That's right, it's like Ready Player One. I have a whole catalog of pointless Kirby facts within my mind. You're welcome. Um, so, yeah, Magalore would work really well. They can probably uh, maybe do some reworking with this, I don't know, maybe some of the ESP ability. I don't know. They could, they, he used um, sort of magical powers in Kirby's Dream Collection. Um, so maybe they could do something, something with that, and maybe they could incorporate some of his boss elements. You know, you know, it's it, it, there's a lot of possibilities with Magalore, and he, he seems like probably the most likely uh, character if I had to guess, just any character. I mean, hell, they got um, Magalore is a, is a goddamn character icon in the Nintendo Switch UI. So clearly there is there is a following for Ma for Magalore in within Nintendo itself. So. Seems seems very 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 possible. Okay, another 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 character I have I have uh, I have this under likely I don't know this is a little less likely definitely not so possible and that's Galact Knight. Um, Galact Knight obviously introduced in Kirby's Kirby Superstar Ultra. This one's a little tougher in terms of the level level elements. I'm not sure what they would do. They could probably pull more levels from Superstar Ultra. Um, there are some levels which are exclusive to that game. Um, and not just within Superstar, so maybe they can do something with that. Um, either way, I think as a character, work very well. You know, obviously incorporate the elements of Sword and Meta Knight, and uh, you know, just mix it up with all those different things he does. Galactonite Knight has just appeared in so many Kirby games, um, so it does seem like he's he's a character that that would, would work quite well within these constraints of, of a, being a dream friend. Now I have another character that is, uh, maybe, I don't know if I should have put this in likely, but um, I did. This guy, we got Prince Fluff, and I was like, oh, because I, I don't know, I feel like he works really well, or he fits really well with the other ones, because we have characters like Gooey and Rick Kiny Koo. Um, so they, these are sort of the helper characters that help Kirby along his journey, and obviously Gooey's a player too, Prince Fluff is a, Prince Fluff is a player too. Um, the only reason this is, I don't know, probably less likely than some of the other ones in the likely list just is just because I'm not sure, I don't think Prince Fluff is actually a character created by HAL Laboratory themselves. However, they have included um, Epic Yarn uh, characters in their games. Yin Yarn was a keychain in Triple Deluxe, and they've had some stuff like that. 
in, in the past. So it's yeah, definitely within the realm of possibilities. Um, I, I believe they also had a song from Kirby's Epic Yarn and Planet Robot. So yeah, clearly it's a game that, that Hal acknowledges, and that's pretty important. And you know, I think Kirby's Epic Yarn is a pretty important game in Kirby history. Obviously, you could incorporate levels from that, and, and that would be quite nice, quite quite good indeed. And uh, I, I think that would be a very unique character to do, and it would be the good. Uh, it could sort of recreate the, the epic yarn moveset, perhaps, but within the Kirby Star Allies. So that would be pretty nice. I think that, now that I'm thinking about it, I think it is more likely than perhaps I would, I was I was expressing at the beginning of this uh, discussion on Prince Fluff. But, you know, that that's that's how it is. You've got to just think through these things, and then you'll arrive at your conclusion. <coughs> Yeah. Alright, this character is another one who's, I'd say, pretty likely a Daroach uh, from Kirby Squeak Squad. Obviously, this guy, he's a mouse man. Um, I think he's pretty likely how Laboratory seems to like him. He's appeared in actually quite a few games, especially the spin offs. Um, he's quite a, appeared in quite a few games, and uh, and he's obviously the most, uh, the, the leader of the mouses, and um, he could work well and could sort of. In um, Kirby Battle Royale, this is another reason I thought, I thought, oh, I thought of Daroch is uh, they have a costume for Daroch, uh, which is a whip costume, so perhaps they could use um, the whip ability as inspiration for Daroch's moveset and then work from there. So, so that's that's a thing. Obviously, you can have super, uh, squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> Obviously, you can have the Squeak Squad levels, and um, that'd be quite nice. So yeah, just another pretty solid choice, I think. I think that's... I, can, I would not be surprised at all if, I, if that fella ended up in the game, and I think that would be kind of nice. I think it'd be kind of nice just to be to, 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 to play as the mouse man. Okay, this one, this one is um, one I didn't think of immediately, but then when I did think of it, I was like, oh yeah, that's, that's a good idea. And that is uh, it, low, low, low slash la la la, um, because so these guys, um, as far as I'm aware, aren't really in Kirby Star Allies. They did appear in uh, Kirby's Ball of Blast last year as, as bosses for the first time in like. Ten years, I guess. Um, um, yeah, but these, guys, yeah, these these characters are obviously really important to Kirby history. They obviously Lolo had his own series for a while, which has been discontinued for well over twenty years. So that's great. Um, <laughs> uh, hashtag bring back Lolo. Hashtag Lolo is the new hashtag Yolo. That's that's a real tweet from Nintendo. Yeah, but um, so yeah, these 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 fellows would be be quite nice. Um, in terms of the level, uh, I don't know, perhaps they could sort of recreate some sort of puzzly looking things, sort of reminiscent of the low, low, low boss battle, I don't know. I don't know, I think there's stuff you could do with them, and I don't know if they'd be a combined character or a single, maybe you'd just be able to play as low, 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 you could also do la, la, la. I don't know, and you could push blocks and stuff, and I think that would be kind of nice, I just think, just given this, these these guys is, uh, in, you know, you know, they're, 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 their storied history in, in the Kirby franchise, I, I think they would work very nice, very good. Okay, now we have uh, sort of two two people in, in, intertwined, um, to two two females. Um, they're Ribbon and Adeline um, from Kirby 64. I guess Adeline is also in Kirby's Dream Land 3. Basically, the last time we've seen those 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 individuals to be rather popular in in online communities. I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, as opposed to other Kirby characters, but hey, uh, I'm not gonna argue with it. She's a pretty good character And obviously with Adeline you can utilize um, some of the paint paint painter paint abilities moveset and in and, and that so that would make it easier uh, To implement and then you'd obviously you can have the Kirby 64 levels But then there's also ribbon and ribbon is interesting because obviously she hasn't appeared since um, But I think she's still obviously she plays a very pivotal role in the in Kirby 64 story far more so than Adeline and I think I think it'll be nice to be able to play as her as well I don't know I think they could either do because the thing is they haven't had two abilities from one two dream friends from one game obviously we've had one only one installment of the dream friends so we can't say for sure if that's gonna continue but I think it's possible um so I think Adeline and Ribbon could sort of go together because I feel like they're sort of intertwined as sort of the two Kirby 64 characters who are most associated with that game because obviously Adeline has a much larger role in 64 than she did Dreamlight 3. Um, so, I don't know, just so they could be combined or, you know, uh, separate. Adeline would obviously be easier to re implement. I do think there would be riots if Ribbon was in the game and not Adeline. Um, but since, again, I don't know, people like really like Adeline, and I'm like, oh, he's fine. 
it's all right, I guess. Okay, we got we got two two more really obvious ones. We're gonna end with uh, with I'd say two that are much more likely than a lot of the other fellows on this list. We got Terranza. So Terranza, um, Triple Deluxe. Obviously, you can have Triple Deluxe elements implement uh, you know, spider abilities. He has some sort of mage stuff he does. ESP, maybe? Is, is something like that? I don't know. Um, but yeah, you know, I think Terranza, he was a boss battle in um, Team Kirby Clash Deluxe. Um, it's very, 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 very important Kirby character. Um, uh, yeah, I think that would just work well, and he's obviously all, of, all, all, all the things are lined up for Terenza to work well. And then we got an incredibly similar character in Susie, um, obviously Planet Robobot character. Um, in terms of her moveset, that's a little more tricky. She have only really fought her in her mech in the Kirby game, so I don't know if they give her her mech or have her outside her mech. I don't know how she would attack outside of the mech, but I think, I think they could figure something out. But yeah, you know, I think that I think uh, yeah, those two are very very possible. Those, Terranza, Magalore, and Susie, I'd say, are some of the more most likely characters, just because they sort of represent individual games. Obviously, those are games that are, which are very in, the, in the, the public consciousness in terms of Kirby games, so I think those would work very well. Now we're on the less likely characters. So these characters, I guess some of them, some of the characters in the likely category kind of qualified for this, but less likely basically is characters which are very, very possible, but are not not a given. I would not I would not say they are guaranteed. So we have uh, first on our list related to Susie, um, literally actually, is uh, Max Prophet Haltman. Uh, this dude, I like him a lot. He's a, he's a, he's a weird mustache president man. Um, he's kind of fun. I like him. I don't know what they would do for his move set, but um, he's a good character, and I think he deserves more. He kind of just got obliterated from existence in the last game, so. Feel kind of bad for him, so hopefully uh, they can, they can, I can see that. I mean, it could happen. Stranger things have happened. So yeah, again, less likely. Since we got characters of this cali caliber, more side characters, but would be fun to have nonetheless. I don't know. I, I was kind of debating between less likely and likely, and I, I don't know. Either way, um, I put Highness here. Um, and I put him in less likely because I don't know. He's just from this game, so I don't know if they put characters from this game that were introduced in this game as dream friends I'm not sure I don't know if they're doing more legacy characters like from the, the series as a whole or if, I don't know I don't know if they if, if, what the thought process would be in terms of the new characters so we have also tied into that Francisca uh, Flamberge Zan Partizan those those three people the just the three generals we also got um, Oilers Morpho Knight um, just gotta say Morpho Knight is like the coolest like boss, I saw him. I'm like, oh my god, it's concept art Meta Knight. Oh my god. Um, so that was very cool. Either way, um, all these new characters, I'm not sure of. Um, I'm less sure of that they, if they would want to have the moveset. Obviously, all the models are still in, are in the game, so they could, you know, that that's less work for them. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if that would work. I mean, obviously, they would work in terms of movesets. Um, my idea, I think, was to have the three generals sort of be combined, like we have. Animal friends, but I don't know if they do that. But well, that was just an idea, just since they're all like you know, basically, the, like they're all related. I think also literally, and then obviously Morpho Knight, you get the sword, Highness. I don't know what he could do. Just he is a weird guy. He's a pretty weird guy. You can do weird stuff with him. I don't know stuff like that. It's a little unclear whether they would include these guys since they're all the new new people. Either way, I, I, so I put them under less likely just because I'm not sure uh, what the what Hal's thinking over there. But I do think that they would definitely would work if the decision was made to include them. Another side character, another fun side character, we have Captain Vol. Captain Vol actually returned in uh, Star Allies as a, a stone form, which is pretty, pretty, pretty dang awesome. And I put him here, I don't know why, just because I thought it would be kind of fun to have Captain Vol with a moveset. I don't know, he could probably use some of Wings attacks. He could probably fly, I would assume. See the wings, I, 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 I guess. Uh, but yeah, you know, that's that's a, that's a character. <laughs> sure. Okay, um, this guy, I, yeah, I wasn't really sure. I put Sailor D, um, and I'm not really sure just because I don't know what they would do with the moveset, just because, I don't know, it's Sailor D, like, he doesn't really, he doesn't really have moves, he's kind of just a Waddle D, which is, you know, very good, but, you know, that's, that's what it is. <laughs> I, I love Sailor D, and I would love to see him, but he's a very small side character. Yeah, the move set is kind of kind of the issue, and I feel like if they were going to include more characters from the Superstar 
and Superstar Ultra games, then there were probably better candidates, I would assume. <laughs> but yeah, you know, Sailor D. I still love to see him, obviously. He's a great, great guy. Great guy. Gotta respect Sailor D. Okay, now we have uh, Sectonia, another boss character, sort of in the same category as Haltman. Uh, yeah, again, I don't know what they'd do for the moveset. She's kind of big, but what they probably would do with they, they could do with they did with Marks, and maybe she could have her um, small form, which we've kind of seen, or sort of terranza like form. I don't know if they'd do that, but you know, could be. Um, and then have a, just other attacks in her like bee form or some sort of wasp, or I don't know, I don't know, some sort of insect. Um, you know. Again, less likely, but I, I put it there nonetheless because it would still be pretty dang nice, pretty fun, pretty awesome. Okay, now we have another, another, another boss character. We got all these, all these boss characters. We got Landia. Landia is very nice. Freeland just appeared in three games. I don't know. Plays a very pivotal role in Return to Dreamland, and I think, I think it was just kind of a random pick. I like them though. I like the dragons. Very, very nice dragons. Very good. I think I think they'll be fun to play as, and maybe they can have attacks where they get the four-headed form and then maybe sometimes they're just the little dudes. I don't know. You got a lot of options, but I thought I would put them on the list nonetheless. So yeah, there what I, yeah, that's what I did. Okay, another another random random side character. We have Ice Dragon. Ice Dragon uh, is a boss character from Dreamland 2 and Dreamland 3 and I think it was also in 64 and uh, Planet Robot and Team Kirby Clash Deluxe. I think Ice Dragon is just sort of an iconic, like, boss. Um, I like Ice Dragon. It's, it's a, I just like, I just like whenever Ice Dragon shows up, I'm just like, oh, that is nice, nice, nice to see Ice Dragon again. Nice to see him, some, see him back in action, it's very nice. And obviously, you know, you can implement uh, ice moves, and I think, I think they'd probably just, um, rework a lot of his, his boss battle attacks into, into his movesets, or like, what they do with Marks, but again, not the most likely of characters, but, uh, you know, just a fun little choice that I thought I'd do. Because the thing is, we don't know how expansive these dream friends are going to be. Like, it could be three more, or it could be uh, 15 more. Like, we don't, there's there's no way of knowing. Well, it's probably going to be a lot more, but, you know. It's it's, it's fun to speculate, because you never know. You know, you never know what could happen. It's, 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 who knows? Another, another random thing. This is one I stole from Reddit. Um, I don't remember the original post. Uh, the Robobot armor. I saw this and I was like, oh, that's a great idea. Because you could basically, you could take the moveset from the Robobot armor. And then you could just use it as a, as a character. And be, oh, that's cool. That will work well. I thought that was a fun idea. I just play as the Robobot armor itself. And it has all its movesets. And, uh, just kind of a, kind of a fun idea. Because, like, you don't usually think it's the Robobot suit as a character. But, you know, it, it is. Technically is. So, that, that will work. That will work well. So I thought it was a good idea to whoever came up with that. I didn't, I stole it from the internet. Oh yeah, this was another less, slightly less viable pick, but an, uh, a fun one nonetheless. Uh, the Dynablade slash Dynablade Chicks. I wasn't sure if, kind of thought Dynablade would be too big, so it was like, like maybe a fix. I was like, oh, you can play the, the, the Dynablade Chicks, like the miniature ones. I don't, I don't know if that, how realistic that would be, but that's what I came up with. And, you know, just an idea implement some Dynablade, one of Dynablade's boss attacks. You could just make like a tiny Dynablade or something. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of the Ridley problem with Dynablade, it's just kind of too big. Last of the less, in the less likely category, we have Smash Brothers Kirby. And I don't know, I just thought this was um, kind of an interesting interesting idea because, I mean, I don't know, I, I don't know if, they, if there's a precedent to adding abilities to the game, but I think, I don't know, <laughs> it'd be kind of weird to have, um, Kirby himself as dream friend, but I was like, oh, you know, the Smash Brothers Kirby has like a full move set, and it's not in the game. Maybe this would be a fun way of doing that. Just an idea. Um, I, I love playing as Smash Brothers Kirby. It was always fun, always a blast. Um, so yeah, it was just, it, just an idea to, to, to bring that back as a dream friend, just so we can have it and uh, and play as it. Is is very good. And then it'll be even more accurate to Smash Brothers because the, the new hammer attack is like the same as the one in Smash 4. Like they changed it, they changed the hammer attack in Star Allies to be like the one in Smash 4. Which is like, so it's like pretty much identical in terms of the moveset to Smash Brothers. Now I have the long shots. This is some of the more wacky stuff. Maybe some, well, some of it a little less, but we'll see. We'll see about that. Long shots. We have Game Boy slash NES Kirby. So this is an idea we could have like a sprite Kirby. 
Um, so maybe he's, I'm thinking probably he'd be the NES sprite because that seems to be the one that they use because it's pink and uh, sort of goes well better than having like a monochrome. A lot of stuff they could do with, with uh, I think it would be just kind of cool to have a, a retro, like a literally retro character where it's like a sprite running around. I think it'll be fun. Just a possible idea. I put it in terms of long shot because I don't, I don't know if I see that happening, but you know, you know. Mm. Okay. Next up, we have uh, sort of a sort of a crossover character. That's QB, and QB um, has been referenced in Kirby games. QB is actually already in Kirby Star Allies, um, but I'm not sure if they would add him as a playable character. Um, I, I would love if they did that, but I'm not sure if they will, just since um, they might want to focus more on the Kirby games. But hey. That would that could still happen and it'll be fun um do a lot of weird stuff with his moveset um i think it would be really cool to see sort of a 3d model of qb running around since we haven't really seen that um just an idea and uh, i thought that was uh, maybe that would be kind of fun and then also related we have part-time ufo <laughs> this is yeah Hal's mobile game uh and i was like oh i think but the ufo the game with the crane uh i don't know not a whole lot you can do with the boost set. It could be as a crane and it goes down and goes up and that's pretty much all he does, but you know, I think I could probably think of something. Yeah, again, less likely, probably even less likelier than QB, just since um part-time UFO hasn't actually even hasn't even been in a Kirby game before, whereas QB has been in two thus far. Actually three thus far. So uh, now we have uh, some you, th these are the real long shots. We have Boot Robo slash uh, other Spin-off characters, Grill slash Eline. I, I actually I put a sh I should probably should have put a line in less likely. She's a recent character and um, plays a more prominent prominent role in her respective game than uh, Boo Robo. Um, yeah, but I put Boo Robo and Grill because they have a, a, a stone statue, um, and it'll be kind of fun if they had like all oh, these these spin-off character as their own character slot like. Boo Robo slash Grill. You know, Grill was never released in the United States. That is an utter travesty. Um, God damn it, Hal, what's wrong with you guys? Um, no, but you know, just oh, like, I did an idea. You know, it's, it's just an idea, just something I thought of. And I was like, oh, if you know, if they did that, that's never gonna happen. But if they did, that'll be pretty dang nice. Now we have Escargoon slash anime characters. This is again stolen from Reddit. Uh, but yeah, there's been a big push for Escargoon. Specifically, as an anime random representative, and the reason I feel like Escargoon is possibly more likely is just because he did appear in Kirby Mask Attack, kind of, in a cameo. So clearly, they're not against putting like all against altogether putting anime characters in the games, but I don't. I think as a playable character, might be making. I don't know. Um, and then, and then you also have obviously characters like Tiff. Uh, I think Tiff and Tuff. I don't. I don't know. Remember which is which. Um, kind of lame to be honest, but yeah, <laughs> I feel like if we had to get an anime character, Escargoon would probably be the the, the opportune choice, and it'd be yeah, it'll be fun and different. I, I I still think it's kind of a long shot though. So, and then we have the the real dumb idea: other Nintendo characters. We gotta get Mario as we gotta get Super Mario as a dream friend. We gotta get we gotta get Samus. We gotta get Captain Falcon. We gotta get Star Fox. We gotta get Minecraft Steve. Hell yeah, dudes. Um, no. But, I don't know. I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibilities. We've had, obviously, Nintendo characters appear in games before, even though um, having them playable is kind of kind of a big step. Uh, so, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, I think that was basically the extent of my, my, my horrible, poorly thought out list on uh, the, the Kirby Star Allies Dream Friends. If you watched this video, I hope you haven't um, died. Uh, that would be bad. And... Yeah, that's basically it.